Article 38 on the Warren article. I don't know how many people here went to deliberative session this year or are familiar with Article 38. What it is is the town manager says he was doing some house cleaning and he found out that we do, in fact, have an E Street and that we do, in fact, own it, the taxpayers of Hampton. And the Warren article is to discontinue it and just turn it over to, to, to uh, the properties. Um, I've, I've said maybe we should rethink this. If someone would like to take a look at it, if anybody's not familiar with it, it's Article 38 of the Warrant. It's, you go to the Town of Hampton, New Hampshire website, you'll see the quick links. It'll say pre-recorded TV programs. You hit that. After pre-recorded TV programs, you're going to go to 2016 Delib session. They abbreviate deliberative. It's D-E-L-I-B. Deliberative session. 1-30-16, January 30th, 16. It's actually the second part of the meeting, but that's exactly what it says. 2016 Delib Session, 1-30-16. <laughs> the whole trick to it is, if, I'm a dinosaur with the technology, but I can walk everybody through this. At the bottom, where you can pull the bar across to the time, so you don't have to sit there for two, three hours. <laughs> you can pull it to one hour, yeah. one hour, 22 minutes. At that point there, the town manager explains the Warren article. I get up to speak. Um, a couple, three other people got up to speak and felt the same way I did. One got up and spoke the opposite. Um, anyway, I don't want to drag this out. I am going to speak to the selectmen's meeting on February 22nd, 222. And I've asked everybody to you know, withhold judgment, pro or con, on this. You know, do your homework, check out what the deliberative session was, and, um, you know, this might be a tool that we could, we could use to, you know, to get everybody to come to the table, and I explained that at the lib deliberative session, if you look this up. And again, I'll make a presentation at the selectors meeting on 222. That was nice enough to give me a new book here, and on um, page 48, Fact number six, know your ABCs. Cross streets are led at A through Q along the length of Hampton Beach, but there is no E Street. If there were, we'd go right through the middle of the casino. Well, it turns out of this deliberative session, I found out we do have an E Street, and it does go right through the middle of the casino. So it's very confusing, but this situation has gone on for 118 years, and I don't think we should be in a rush to give it away. This gives us a little bit of leverage to... Get everybody to the table with all the transportation planning that's going on. You know, um, let's 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 put some good thought into this process. Thank you very much. I don't know if I should. Ask I'll answer any questions. I don't know if I should ask this question. <laughs> so is East Street privately owned? If you go to this one mi one hour and twenty two minutes. Okay, I'm not going to ask anyone. I'll okay, watch it first. Now, the town manager, Steve. Steve the town right. manager explains that it it does exist and it is town land. We want to just give it away. That's what Article 38 will do. By itself, I'll be voting. No, you have to form your own opinions. So, isn't there some type of squatters' rights after 80? It years? might be different if it was private versus uh, municipal. Yeah, that might be different, Jack. But the town manager himself says it at one hour and twenty-two that it does exist and it is our land. It's very clear. You can't adversely possess public land. Charlie, what is your goal in pursuing this? Rich, I have probably gone to as many, if not more, meetings than anybody on the Hampton Beach Area Commission. I know you were on it. I know Chuck's been on it. I've been to every single meeting probably since the inception of it. The first three years I went just to get public comment, because public comment wasn't even allowed. And I think you know that after going to these meetings, I've had some, you know, fairly decent input. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff has been adopted. But presently we have... DOT has $375,000 they're managing for the HBAC. And they're spending that with the VHB, the engineering firm, that's studying transportation, the update of the transportation plan at the beach. The intersection out here is integral to this whole process. I mean, there's a, I'm, I'll explain it on February 22nd. I mean, you want me to go on? I don't think you need to yet. I'm not trying to explain it. I'm not trying to discredit, you know, what you're, what you're trying, trying to achieve, but I'm, I'm asking, what is the purpose of it? I mean, are you, to are you thinking about cutting through the casino and putting in a street? No. 
Well, then what is it? Well, starting with an starting with an entrance would be a good thing. Right? Just one the quick thing alone. Starting with an entrance would be a good thing, and I'll tell you why. No, if you could drive from anywhere in this town or anywhere in the state and drive onto the ah, Hampton Beach Village District parking lot, the casino parking lot, and the town parking lot without driving down Ashworth Abbey Boulevard, that's a win-win. That gets traffic off the streets, which is a, one of the goals of the master plan and, and the transportation. You know that we're updating. So you could come, I don't care where you're coming from, Manchester, I come from Glade Path. I can come down Brown Ave and I could drive right on the casino property without driving on Ashworth or Ocean Boulevard. If we own that land, I'm just saying, let's get the people to the table and see if we can't work a better deal than just saying, oh, it's our street, but now here, you can have it. There's things that can be done with bus stops. I mean, there's, there's a whole host of things. And like I said, I'll get into it February 22nd. We vote, we vote March 8th. Let everybody keep an open mind. Thank you very much. Thank you.